Oh, welcome back. Yeah, today, uh, I don't know, I'm dressed in black. I just feel like um, the story is taking a little dark turn. Seems to be a little, a little bit of a, on the dark side. So, why not? Why not match the theme? Man, let's get with the quest. We're going to meet up with uh, Sebastian by the Overlook. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. Oh man, this is... Let's see what we're getting ourselves into here. There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. Any who oppose Renrock. You know what? I feel like battling no that out. Kill anyone who tries. <laughs> Got me, they cornered me, man. Oh, get out of here, bro. There's still another one over here. I hear him. I hear him over here fighting by himself. Alright, come on, man. We just came here and wrecked the whole place. Again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Yeah, me too. No, which one? Yeah. Ah. 
Um, <laughs> it is, and that was relatively fun. All right. So what else now? What do we got? What do we got, Seabass? What are we looking for? Come on, man. Let's go in here. How nice. Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. Ooh, we got more. You ready to throw down, bro? For better or for worse, we're in. <laughs> Oi, pass that fire whiskey over here. <laughs> you have to learn to share. I'll be quieter than a job and all. Take a fight. All of this mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Oh, this looks familiar. I thought we were already here. No, it's not. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Where are we going? Where are we going? It's over here. It's over here, man. It's over here. Follow me. Come on, man. Bring it. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs. Or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities. Smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Revelio. Oh man. What is it? Spiders? Good for you. What are you doing, bro? That bridge has seen better days. Oh, God, we have to fix that, right? Repairer. C 
See that? Fixed it, man. What's the whole fuss? What do we have here? Aw, oh, man. Oh, there's another one. There's plenty more. Boom. Simple as that. We're making quick work of them. Sure Professor are, Edgar man. would be proud. She would at that. Revelio. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Oh. Man, I just saw it. Look at this team. Look at this duo. We're here to clean houses. That's th that's our job. That's what we do here. We're house painters. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Ooh. Why am I not surprised? Come on, get close. Get close. Come on, dude. Let's go mess these guys up. No This dude keeps hitting me with those. I'm gonna curse him. Oh, he died. Get out of here. Yo, man, that was close. 
for a Slytherin. For a Raider. Lot to learn. Get me, man. Look at you. Look at you. Can't even walk. Come on, man. I know I've seen somewhere to climb. Right here. What are you doing? Yo, what are you doing, bro? You okay? We can have a look around in peace. Expelliarmus! Confringo! Okay, we got that. So we have one. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Good what is this guy, what's this guy doing, bro? Look at him. Wasn't expecting that. We're expected, bro. Come on. Gotta go and clean house up in here. Okay, the real... What do you have there? I don't a know. A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure, but I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I needed to tell you what I've learnt. Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. 
He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. I have thrilling news. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian Manuel... I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Bro, he's like right here. He just heard everything you just told me. He's right there, look. He's right there. All right, I'm out of here, man. What the? All right, let's break with the professor. See what they know about, um, about that painting. Back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Ah, oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Alright, let's head over to that tower. See if we could sneak in there and get that. That info. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Anne is getting worse. 
If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle, and I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. <laughs> what? How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. Oh man, this is funny. This is crazy. Yo, look at me. Look at this. What's up? <laughs> Yo, this is nuts. Let's go speak to Madame Kogawa. Professor, oh. a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Hmm... I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop oh. by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> <coughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Oh, man. No. That to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. <laughs> oh, that's insane. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Where you go down? 
Let me go down, right? Stand proud, pure bloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Oh man, this is funny. Oh look, Christmas time. Check it out. Look, look, look at the tree. Yo, this is nice. Look at the gargoyle. Look, oh man, that's cool. Look at that. That's cool, man. Greetings. I mean, out of my way, children. Whoa! Even set up a tree inside. Look, this is so cool. I like this. Master, I'm. Yeah. What do yeah. you want? I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Professor, a word? I should like to speak with you, Professor. Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Mm. Set him up. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... Parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Oh, man, this dude sent for... What did to deserve him as a headmaster? If yes. you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. Yeah, this guy's in for a treat. He doesn't even know it. I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. What? <clears throat> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... Well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. <laughs> Everybody's like freaking out. Cause this guy's... A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I can never understand that. Yo, everybody's freaking out because he's being too nice. Whoa. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Look at here. Yo, this is very nice. Oh, look at the Christmas tree right there. Look at that. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. There's no doubt. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, 
But Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Let's go with this one. It's... Pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. <laughs> <laughs> but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. <laughs> <laughs> the Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Right. <laughs> Better hurry up before I get caught. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. The gargoyle. All right. Let's let's go speak the password to the gargoyle. Here. Oh, this was locked. I had to come up here. Way earlier, picked up some papers. Revelio. Nice little looking office right here. It's because he's been hiding this nice joint. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Well, it looks like we're in the right place. Set up there. Oh, wait a minute. Rebellion. Another page. Eight more to go. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Oh, another one. Man, man, man. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? I'm gonna drink his tea. Rebellion. Oh, I hear it, man. Oh, what's this? be the pedestal. Oh. Where 
am I? What? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. What? We're part of the book, we're you part of the story. You move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. Okay. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Oh. Oh, we're going against death. Oh, wow. This is... This is awesome. This is cool. I like this. We can be spotted. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. They're Yo. gone. For now, I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Ooh. Good thing I upgraded my my invisibility. That way they can detect me as yes, easy. Can shoot that way. Ooh, ooh, I need to time this just right. Good battle. Oh, there's more right there. Need to get there. The good thing they can't sense me as easy. I see a staircase straight ahead. Come on, man, move. Oh, we're in water. Oh, death. Oh, he's searching. He's searching for sure. He knows we're up to something. How could this happen? A ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Chill, man. You're gonna give up my spot, bro. You're gonna make it across. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Oh, I could have made it, huh? Is he gonna turn? He's gonna turn. 
No, man. Should I say YOLO? Oh, he's right there. He's looking. You know what? YOLO. No, never mind. Yes. No. Yes. We're taking it, man. We're taking it. We're going. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past Ooh. them. Drown, man. Look at that. You can see the pestilence of death everywhere. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Scoping the area out. He's right there. Nothing this way, but more danger. Turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Oh. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. They're everywhere, man. They're everywhere. Oh. Get out of here, man. my chance that's the way forward we make it oh that's the cloak Bro, no way. Can this be? We have the invisible. I'm invisible. We got the cloak. Bro. Oh man, this is so dope. This is nice. This is real nice. Look at me. Look at me. They can't see me at all. Look at this. I'm closer to them. Sup, dipshit? <laughs> oh, that's things. <laughs> Better days, losers. This is the way forward. Finally free. Bro, now this is so. You, this is so awesome. This is cool, man. Real nice. Real nice touch. Real nice. run death thus far but have yet to find me keep searching but this time you will be unable to hide wield the wand you see before you do not squander its extraordinary power oh no way this is it this is the one the one oh man Such power. Oh man, we're about to get into some wild west stuff here, man. We're gonna. They don't know. They don't know. Descender, the pulse. Oh man. Yo, man, we're gonna go crazy here. We're about to create some damage. I ain't afraid no more, man. This is it. I'm the one. I'm I'm the Neo, bro, of this whole thing. I'm writing the chapters here. <laughs> Yo, gonna, you all want to do this? You sure? 
God, man. Who am I, man? Are you insane? Oh, man. I don't think I could go to normal. To a normal wand after this, man. I, I can't do it. I am drunk with power right now. Yo, he moved so smooth. So agile, man. Like, this is what... This is what being a wizard's all about, man. Oh, oh, oh yeah. this right now Let's see what the damage is oh, ho, ho. let's get this guy out of here <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. No look see. Oh, ho, 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 man. Am I insane right now, bro? I'm running insane. My movements are so maniacal, man. I'm telling you. I'm insane. I'm drunk with power. You don't want to see me like this, man. You don't want to see me like this. You don't want to see this eye contact. with power right now man i don't think i could go back to the real world this is who i am now this is the new me this is vandal el prestigio showing everybody how we get down we're doing this nice and grimy you know Finally got to see that side of me. Oh, it's death. Oh, it's the boss. Oh, he brought, he brought his little cronies. Dang. Get you out of here quick, man. Oh, come on, man. Let's go get this. Oh. 
Out of here, buddy. Perfect. Ooh, that just saved me, bro. Got away with it. Don't worry, man. I didn't forget about you. We got you. We got you. See that what I mean? This dude be crazy. That was Bro, there was no way out of there. Just beat this guy by the skin of our teeth, bro. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of these guys first. We need to get rid of these controls, bro. They're insane.
Dang, I slacked it. I didn't grab that. Oh, man, see what I mean? That jump, bro. Descender. Where did that come from? Oh, dude, they're blocking me. Bro, we just got back in the game here. Put your turn. Dude, he just got in spin. What you got next, friend? What you got? Bring it! Yo, man, this is bass, bro. This is massive. Yo, we're playing mad. Freaking crazy, man. We're playing insane. We're being mad, reckless.
through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. I can't believe she's dead. Dear sweet Neve. <laughs> Neve. We won't be the same without her. Guess I got my token. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Arnia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. 
I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power, and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Wow. By far, this is one of the best trials ever. That, that was so, so dope. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. By far, one of the best trials. We'll drop it off on this one. We'll pick it up on the next one. Catch you guys on the next one.